So basically in this video we will be talking about the calculation part of ultrasound and the two different types of scan, scan A and scan B and we will do a question related to ultrasound that will help you understand better. The first terminology that we will study is called specific acoustic impedance or Z. Specific acoustic impedance is basically the product of density of the material or medium and the speed of sound in that medium. Now that medium can be air, that medium can be uh, muscle and that medium can be fat. The second terminology that we will study about is called the intensity ref reflection coefficient or alpha. To understand alpha we need to understand that whenever an ultrasound wave hits a boundary, a boundary is basically the point where two mediums come into contact for example in this case it is fat and air. So we have in green the incident ultrasound wave. Out of that incident wave only a fraction of wave goes inside the medium let us call that IT or the transmitted intensity and the remaining, in the remaining energy or the remaining wave gets reflected back let us call that IR. So basically alpha is the ratio of the reflected intensity and the incident in set intensity that is why it is called the intensity reflection coefficient. It is the fraction of the reflected to the incident intensity. Alpha can also be found using the difference between the two z values upon the sum of the two z values the whole thing squared. So in simple words the larger the difference between the two z values of the medium for example air and fat or fat and muscle the greater the fraction of reflected intensity. The last terminology that we will study about is called the absorption coefficient or mu. So basically whenever sound waves travel through a medium whether it is air, whether it is bone, fat, muscle, water etc. energy is lost over time. The intensity of the sound wave at the start will not be the same after it travels a certain amount of distance. Now to calculate the amount of remaining intensity we need the absorption coefficient which differs from medium to medium and to find out the remaining intensity the formula is I is equals to I naught e to the power minus mu x where I is the intensity after the wave travels a certain distance x I naught is the initial intensity and mu is the absorption coefficient. Moving on let us talk about the two different scans that we have. We have scan A and scan B that we use uh, with ultrasounds. Basically scan A is a very simple kind of a scan that is used to measure the thickness of a medium whether it is muscle, whether it is the lens of an eye. So how does scan A work? In the scan A the ultrasound transducer the ultrasound transducer, uh, transducer is held stationary and a pulse is sent from the transducer which is shown by the first peak here. Obviously as this ultrasound waves moves on it will get reflected from the boundary B and the reflection will be detected by the ultrasound probe. This reflection is represented here by the uh, peak 1 and then we will have a reflection from the boundary C which is represented by peak C and so on. Now the distance as distance increases between the two boundaries so will the time period so will the time period and as the medium changes or the material changes the amplitude will also change. So now uh, so we assess the time peak interval between reflections or the time interval between peaks and the amplitude of the peaks to find out the thickness of each medium. Now how does scan B work? In case of a scan B the ultrasound probe is moved around at different angles and we get the same reflections from every boundary. Now these reflections are detected by the ultrasound probe and they are connected to a computer. The computer then draws a 
an image of the structure inside. Now moving on to a question. This question is from May June 2009 paper 4. The first part says explain the main principle behind the use of ultrasound to obtain diagnostic information about internal body structures. So basically how does an ultrasound probe work or how does ultrasound work in general? We know that pulses, ultrasound pulses are sent from the probe, ultrasound pulses are sent from the probe, they get reflected from the boundary that is what we studied previously and when they are reflected back they get detected by the same probe and what inside the probe detects the ultrasound wave and what creates the ultrasound wave is the piezoelectric crystal. Okay. Achha. So, the time distance between transmitted and reflected, what will we get from this time distance? We will get the thickness of the medium and the intensity of the reflected wave will give us the nature of the medium. It can be fat and it can be muscle, it can be bones, it can be some other kind of a tissue. Each one will give a different intensity of peak. Now, moving on, we are given the value of acoustic impedance for muscle and the absorption coefficient of muscle. Similarly, we are given the acoustic impedance for bone and the absorption coefficient for bone. They have also given us the intensity reflection coefficient, the formula for intensity reflection coefficient and they said that there is an ultrasound beam of intensity i that hits a muscle and then a bone. So, the ultrasound, the question says that the ultrasound is reflected at a muscle bone boundary and returns to the surface of the muscle calculate the intensity reflection coefficient at the muscle bone boundary. Since they have given us the formula, it is easier, but we know the formula. The formula basically is alpha or intensity reflection coefficient is the difference of the two z values upon the summation of the two z values, the whole thing squared. What are the z values? The z values are 6.3 and 1.7. So, 6.3 minus 1.7 upon 6.3 plus 1.7 the whole thing squared I have omitted 10 to the power 6 because it is because it is common to both the numerator and the de denominator and it will eventually cancel out so there is no point writing it right now and the answer comes out to be 0 0.33. The next part says the fraction of the coefficient intensity that is transmitted from the surface of the muscle to the surface of the bone. We know that as it travels from the surface of the muscle to the surface of the bone the ultrasound beam will travel a total distance of 4.1 centimeter. We also know that I is equal to I naught e to the power minus mu x where mu is the absorption coefficient. Now to find out the fraction I will need I upon I naught which is equal to e to the power minus mu because it is traveling in muscle we will use the value for absorption coefficient of muscle which is equal to 23 and the distance traveled is 4.1 centimeter which is equal to 4.1 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. The fraction comes out to be 0 0.39. The last part of the question asks us the intensity in terms of I that is received back at the surface of the muscle. Now what they are asking is that there was this intensity I at the surface of the muscle. It goes and reaches the surface of bone. It then bounces back from the surface of the bone and comes back to the comes back to muscle. Tk, let's call this I x. Tk, x is the unknown here. So basically, we should know that I x to find out I x. What we need to know is I x is equal to. We'll have the initial intensity. The initial intensity first travels a distance of 4.1 centimeter and we know that the fraction that will be that will be left with would be 0 0.39 of the initial intensity. We found it from part 2 of the question. When it gets reflected back from the muscle bone boundary we will be left with 0 0.33 which we found out from part 1 of the same question and once when it moves back from the surface of the bone to the surface of the muscle we will again be left with 0 0.39 of what is left. So, basically this comes out to be 0 0.33 into 0 0.39 the whole thing squared multiplied by i which is equals to 0 0.05 i. This is the intensity that we will receive in terms of i. Hope this was helpful.